Usually we don't have such an opportunity to actually talk and discuss about power supplies in terms of the packaging, the power, the modularity, the design as well. But today we have something quite exquisite. This is Be Quiet's Dark Power Pro 13 1600 watts. It comes in two varieties actually. You have this one, as already stated, 1600 watts and 1300 watts. It's fully modular as you can see, but it would be really a shame if it wasn't. And the design is actually, it's a shame that you can't see this power supply uh, from any point of angle or anything similar to that, because it really does look nice. Brushed aluminum on the sides and on the top and at the bottom you have this quite interesting grill. And I'm not saying this just because we're talking about a premium power supply with 80 plus uh, titanium certification and all the other stuff that we will get uh, quite shortly. But I'm saying it really does look completely different than any other power supply. So what we got here is loads of uh, cable connections uh, right at the front, which uh, gives us uh, loads of possibilities to connect uh, various devices. But the most important one, we have two PCI 5.0 connections which gives you a possibility to connect to graphic cards that RTX uh, 4000 series. But also we have two additional connections for your EPS, for your CPU. Then we have a motherboard, uh, two connections since they're divided, 24 pin is divided to these two. And we have six uh, connections for uh, drives, which is more than enough, but definitely this power supply can power up literally anything that you have in your system plus we have an OCK connection right here which we will discuss later on now talking about it's really heavy power supply without a doubt and uh, at the back you have a huge socket which is different than your standard power supply so you do need to use the one that is uh, acquired right here inside the box and we have a switch so basically that's it when we're talking about the visual aspects Quite nice Dark Power Pro uh, and Be Quiet logo right here on the side, which is in a chrome design with, as already stated, a brushed aluminum uh, side. Now, the box is outstanding and we're going to, for unboxing. So, giving you some idea how this packaging looks and I'm going to record this additionally so you can guys have uh, more, let's say, a close up. Uh, this is where the power supply goes and here we have all the cables dedicated for this power supply more boxes so this is the separated uh, cable that goes from your power supply to your wall socket and i have to say it's really flexible which is uh, a bit different than you're used to then we have velcro ties loads of those we get zip ties we get cable combs we get four screws for the power supply and these are much longer than you're used to as well you get thumb screws as well and we get the cable connection for overclocking which has also additional switch so basically uh, you can place this as a pci uh, on your pci lane and uh, have it there to be able to basically flip the switch then we have the drive cable so additional compartment right here each of the cable is braided so we have four SATA cables two of those have four SATA connectors and two of those have three SATA connectors then we have Molex which has three Molex connectors and we have uh, I would say combination of two SATA and two Molex then we go to the next main cables as you can see we get the uh, 12 VHPWR cables two of those which are solidly flexible i wouldn't say that they are flexible as every other cable that we have here uh, they aren't braided and uh, this is the only um, i would say downside uh, from the whole cable uh, management stuff uh, when we're taking into consideration then we have the 24 pin cable we have three pci express that go into uh, six so six uh, six times uh, six plus uh, two uh, PCI Express cables and we have here two 8-pin EPS cables as well. All of these cables are fully braided uh, except for the 12 VHPWR but uh, I already uh, mentioned that. Now when we're talking about compatibility the specifications go as such so Intel ATX 12 volts 3.0 power supply design guide version 2.0 
PCI Express 5.0, BTX version 1.0A, EATX server dual motherboards via 8 pin connector, EPS 12 volts, uh, Intel C6 C7 status, Energy Star 8.0, and ERP guidelines. And basically, what does the overclocking key do? So, uh, the overclocking key groups the individual 12V rails to a single V rail. You can uh, enable the overclocking function permanently by setting the jumper provided directly at the power supply or you can enable the overclocking function by pressing the switch on the slot cover provided as needed. So uh, the overclocking key is connected to the power supply using the connector labeled accordingly and when you switch on the overclocking function at the slot the LED uh, on the slot cover switches on. Of course uh, short notice uh, when you're switching the overclocking mode on uh, the power supply needs to be turned off, which is some sort of a safety precaution, but uh, I would say uh, as such, it's quite all right. Um, more of uh, introduction and unboxing and give you some ideas about this power supply because I could use the device that I tested before uh, on the power supplies, but then again, I did get some comments in terms of uh, how can you test it with the same device when it's uh, fully loaded or it uh, actually gets some load on the power supply to get the actual voltage ratings and all the other stuff. So unfortunately that can't be done because I either connect it to that device or either connect it to the components. That's it. There's no other way to manage it. But uh, as I already stated, Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 13, 1600 watts and you have a 1300 watts fully modular braided cables except for the 12 VHPWR, 80 plus titanium certified, definitely a power supply that will definitely cover everything that you need uh, for your components and more if you're not running uh, two 4090s this is definitely an overkill or if you have loads of drives, two 4090s and everything else uh, considering that. Uh, this what Be Quiet would say, it will run past components, current components and new components. More like a future-proof power supply that will definitely keep your uh, build running. But you'll be seeing this power supply in future Be Quiet builds because as you already noticed uh, from my Computex 2020 uh, 3 uh, boot coverage uh, they will be, uh, there will be some interesting cases uh, dropping soon and I'll be using uh, the uh, Dark Power Pro with those cases. So guys, thank you for watching today's unboxing and introduction to Dark Power Pro 13. Uh, the link for the power supply is in the description so you can check out all the details and that will be all for today. Thanks for watching this short unboxing. See you next time guys. Bye bye.